question I am going to handle now is in a circular track of length 100 meters, three persons A, B, and C start together. A and B move in the same direction at 10 meters per second and 8 meters per second respectively. C moves in the opposite direction at 15 meters per second. When will all the three meet for the first time? When will all the three meet for the first time? So this uh, quantitative aptitude question more on the logical reasoning or analytical reasoning and nothing to do with LCM because my, many of the students have worked out the LCM for this. It does got nothing to do with LCM. It is more into speed, time and distance. You will have to work out speed, time and distance. So here what happens is a circular track like this. It is a circular track like this. All the three start from here. A is running in this direction at 10 meters per second. B is running in the same direction at 8 meters per second and C is running in the opposite direction at 15 meters per second. See, C will be alternately meeting A and B because C is running in the opposite direction. C will be meeting A and B alternately. C will be meeting A and B alternately. But the question is when will all the three meet for the first time? Can A meet B is the question. See, A cannot come and meet B from behind. But if A has to meet B, he has to run one more circle than what B has done. He has to run one more circle than what B has done. Supposing B is running one and a half rounds, then A has to run two and a half rounds. Supposing B is running four rounds, A has to run five rounds. Supposing B is running ten rounds, A has to run eleven rounds. Like that, A if it runs one round extra than what B has run, A can definitely meet B. Now because the track is 100 meters, because the track is 100 meters, a has to take a lead of 100 meters. Because the track is 100 meters, A has to take a lead of 100 meters. The way you will get a 100 meters, every second A is gaining 2 meters. So 100 divided by 10 minus 8 will be 50 seconds. Every 50 seconds A will be meeting B. Every 50 seconds A will be meeting B. So I will have to find out where A and B exactly meet to see whether C is also with them. I will have to find out where A and B exactly meet to see whether C is also with them. So 50 into 10, because they are meeting in 50 seconds, 50 into 10 will be 500 meters. 50 into 10 will be 500 meters. Similarly, 50 into 8 will be 400 meters. So what is happening is, A is running 5 rounds and coming here. B is running 4 rounds and coming here. So both of them will be the same point exactly after 50 seconds. Both of them will be exactly the same starting point exactly after 50 seconds. Now I have to find out where C will be after 50 seconds. So 15 to 15 will be 750 meters. When A and B are here, C would have run 7 rounds plus 50 meters extra. When A and B are here, C would have run 7 rounds plus 50 meters extra. So when A and B are here, C is not with them. When A and B are here for the first time, C is not with them. Then we will have to find out when A and B will meet again. So it will be after the 50 seconds. So 100 into 8 will be 800, 100 into 8 will be 8 and 100 will be 10 into 1000. So what will happen is B will be running, this is B and this is A. B will be running 8 rounds and C, A will be running 10 rounds. This will at the same time 100 into 15 will be 1500. So what happens is C is running 15 rounds and coming here. A is running 10 rounds and coming here. B is running 8 rounds and coming here. See, so all the three will be exactly here after 100 seconds. Every 100 seconds they will be meeting here. Every 100 seconds they will be meeting here. The question is, when will they meet for the first time? The answer is 100 seconds. Every 100 seconds they will be meeting. Because the question is talking about first time, the answer is 100 seconds. Subscribe to my channel. I will be adding questions every now and then.